why is it called the order of death? How does how does death factor into the you know the global um, or governance and ESP and so forth? Oh, well, that's a great question. Um, this is something that I haven't participated in personally because, uh, again, I see no uh, personal benefit from it or even social benefit, but. The majority of the uh, esoteric schools of mystery uh, and the secret societies that practice uh, modernly what we would traditionally consider magic, all of them involve some sort of death-centered ritual uh, at some point in their degree system where the individual has to undergo what they call ego death and uh, in many of them, this is forced upon them or even brought about in a surprising way, which is traumatic to the ego. Uh, uh, for example, the third degree of uh, the Blue Lodge of uh, Freemasonry nowadays involves a uh, ritual where one is uh, ceremonially buried alive, almost in a sense. Uh, and this is the purpose of this, the moral of this, is to encourage people to meditate on their own mortality uh, and to think about themselves as a finite, a, a temporally finite being uh, and to encourage them to think, well, what can I do while I'm here in this lifetime that would help improve the situations that I see uh, of course, it's all very ethically uh, ambiguous. After that, how one applies that uh, knowledge and what they what they learn from that moral. Uh, but all of them do have that particular uh, death obsession in common. And I, I think that that may be what distinguishes, for example, the cult of sleep who are psychic but believe themselves to not be from the order of death who are those who know that they are psychic is having meditated upon one's own mortality and uh, understood the magnitude of that uh, meaning in their own personal lives.